Hello. Oh, oh. <coughs> I might just leave that in. Hello and welcome to another Far Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at copying specific effects and filters from one clip to another. Now, previously, this hasn't been possible inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Um, you used to have to copy every effect that was applied to a certain clip. Um, or none at all. And the problem that this caused is that, let's say you had some retiming um, effect on one clip, when you copied and pasted, um, let's say you just wanted to copy and paste the vignette from that clip to another, it would also uh, retime it in the way that the uh, the source clip has been retimed as well. So now we have a way of actually choosing which effects are transferred over. So we're actually going to take a look at an example of sound inside of Final Cut Pro 10 here. This is a short film that I'm working on. You may or may not know if you keep up with my Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash Dan Allen Films, link in the description. We've got a short dialogue scene between two characters here. And this clip here, uh, the selected clip, has been sound mixed so that it sounds like it's in the room and all the volume levels have been corrected. And I know that this clip here and this clip here are from the same recording, from the same character, therefore the same settings will be appropriate. Um, however, the volume level might not be. Um, let's say we've had to increase the volume on this clip um, to bring them in line with the others. If we were to now copy and paste the effects here, it would reduce the volume level on this clip, which is not what we want. We want to sl uh, select individual effects to be transferred over. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing we're going to do, exactly how we did previously when we wanted to copy effects and filters, we press Command C to copy the clip. Now, select our uh, target clips, in this, in which case these clips, we can select two at a time. Now we're going to press, instead of Command Alt uh, or Command Option V to paste the effects, we're going to press Command Shift V. And that is going to bring up this very handy menu, which let you select which filters get copied, o copied over. So we could just select uh, audio tributes to copy all the effects. Remember also if this was a video clip we would have video tributes here um, including timing. Um, but the one thing we don't want it to affect is the volume so we're going to turn off volume here. But we also we do want to apply the same background noise removal, equalizers and hum. Um, and you see we also have an option here that says maintain timing or stretch to fit. Um, but this is more relevant when you're doing video retiming, so we'll cover that in a different tutorial. But if we just go ahead and press paste here, you can see that if we now click on this clip here, this now has the small room um, filter, as does this clip that we copied it from. Um, and so does this one, but you can see this clip also has our boosted audio levels that we previously gave it, so we haven't overwritten previous effects that it already had, which is very handy. So hopefully this was useful, um, it was just a quick tip on how to um, obviously choose which effects and filters get transferred over, and I'll be back soon with some brand new tutorials um, coming very soon.